What up noobs your boy Nooptonic, welcome back. Um, this is uh, gonna be a quick recording of I guess me playing Pokemon Go in New York. I was actually there for an event, uh, which I'm gonna upload later on, I'll tell you what I was doing down there. It's actually, if I was down there for a gaming event, so I decided to do some, I guess, playthrough of Pokemon Go since there's a lot of Pokestops over there. Because I live in the suburbs, and I have no, <laughs> I don't have shite in my block, man. I live in the, the deep suburbs, so it's like I only got like two, three Pokestops around me, uh, like two, three gyms around me, so I can't really, you know, I can't really rank up level-wise. I'll, I'll train my Pokemons without any Pokestop or any gems. So, since I was in New York City, I was like, I swear I get this Pokemon on. And also, I was actually doing live comment. I was doing live voiceovers while I was in New York. But the funny thing about New York is, it's loud as shit. <laughs> so, after I did all the voice recording and I got back and I couldn't be hear where I was saying, all I could hear was taxis. People walking around, people yelling, people talking, uh, a lot of cars beeping their horns. I couldn't hear nothing I was saying. So, needless to say, I had to do another voiceover recording since I, after I'm done editing the game, the gameplay. Um, pretty much what I'm what I'm doing right now uh, is I'm just walking around, hitting all the poker stop because, like I said, when I, in my area, there's not a lot of poker stops. So, which forces me to lose a lot of Pokeballs. So, when I look, lose all my Pokeballs, I can't restock. So, I'm stuck with it. <laughs> so, I have to really, really be careful with my Pokeballs when I'm trying to catch this Pokemon. Because if I run out, I have to drive like a, about a mile or so away just to get a freaking Pokeball. Which is annoying. So, but New York City, I a Pokestop every freaking block. I mean, sometimes there's three Pokestops in one spot. And a lot of people... And one thing you notice in New York, everybody and the mom is playing Pokemon Go. It might not look like it, but they're playing. A lot of the uh, buildings and a lot of the restaurants have a Pokestop in there. And it's inside those restaurants, they all have a bunch of uh, the law modules, which bring a lot of Pokemon to their to their business. And also, one thing I also did in this gameplay was also uh, I tried to. Um, I was trying to use that uh, SP cheese where you put the egg and you do and you upgrade all your all your Pokemon. You uh, involve all your Pokemon and get double SP. Uh, I saw a lot of people do it on YouTube. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do it too. So what you do is you put out the egg uh, and then you save all your evolutions, all your evolution for your Pokemon, so you pull up the egg. And after you pull up the egg, then you evolve all of them at once. Which will give you multiple SP. Actually, it happens in this video. I ended up hitting. Uh, what level am I right now? I think I'm roughly level 9 in this gameplay. Yeah, I think I'm level 9 in this gameplay. So, there you go. I'm gonna do it right now. I'm gonna put on the egg. So, what this egg does is give you double SP. I'm sure everybody knows that by now. Everybody that plays Pokemon knows this. This is not nothing new. Once you put out the egg, what you do is you start involving all the Pokemon you could get your hand on. So whenever you involve a Pokemon, you get double SP. And I think you get like, what, 600 SP for involving a Pokemon? So instead of 600, you probably end up getting like a thousand or some change. So, or 1200 SP to be exact. So what I started, I started involving random Pokemons. I started involving the Wiggles, I started involving my Pidgeys. I mean the Weedles, then I started involving my Pidgeys. Actually, I didn't even know if it was working at first. What I did was that I actually ended up involving this one. And uh, where's the other one? Where are you? Where are you? Not this one. That would that that put my weakest. I gotta I gotta I gotta train it. Where are you? I think I did a pigeoness. If I'm not sure, where are you? There you go. Right there. It's a pigeon right there. I'm still looking for one. I don't know which one I involved. Uh, so for some weird reason, my game was lagging hard to say on New York. I don't know why. My phone always acts up when I go to New York. Uh, I also involved, yeah, I also involved the Caterpie. 
So that gave me another SP as well. And it, like I said, the, my game was lagging so bad. And it, usually you see the SP right after you involve the, your Pokemon. But it didn't show me the SP until I got out. So I was a little confused. I'm not seeing the, I don't, I'm not seeing the point. I thought it wasn't working. So I exited, then boom, I got 2,000 SP automatically. So I'm like, okay, shit, it's working. <laughs> I'm not wasting my time. So I immediately go right back into uh, what I was doing because you got roughly 30 minutes to do this. So I was like, I'm going through real fast right now, trying to figure out what do I have to involve in this. So I look at effort. I'm gonna start with the pitches because I have a lot of pitches, and the pitches is easy to involve. You only need like 12 candies and some change to involve the pitches. I think I had a bunch of pigeons too waiting. I guess I'll just evolve the witch, the widow again. Cause that takes that doesn't even take a lot of SP because you the good thing about the widows is they're everywhere, just like the pigeons and the rat, rat the rats <laughs> I can't even say the name of that Pokemon. Mm -hmm. The rat and the widows, uh, those are everywhere. You doesn't matter where you are, just like in real life there was pigeons and rats everywhere and freaking worms. Those Pokemon are everywhere, so you could literally involve them pretty fast. They don't take that much candies, only 12. Um, I think, uh, how much the Pidgeys take? I think the Pidgeys take 12 as well. So I involved a whole bunch of these Pokemon all at once. And you will see on the end, after I'm done involving all of them, you will see the massive SP that I received. I think I actually bumped myself up all the way to level 10. Uh, and this is just from like a roughly 40 minutes in New York. I level up almost to level 11 that day. I'm actually level 11 now. Uh, but that was in New York. So if I go to New York again, actually I live, I live right. I'm not that far from New York. I could easily drive down there. But it's just like, it's just too much traffic. And the parking is annoying. And nobody, I don't like going through that bridge. It's just annoying. <laughs> going to New York is annoying. But if you take the train, it's not annoying. You don't have to deal with the parking cheese. And they will give you a ticket in a heartbeat in New York. So that's why I really avoid it. But but I was there for a good reason anyway, which I'm going to show in the vlog later on uh, after I'm done editing that. But like you said, I'm still going strong. I'm involved in the shit out of these Pokemons, man. I'm really hoping that it goes through. <laughs> so I'm still going strong here. I'm looking. Like I said, I have a lot of Weedles, man. And I kept them just just to get this SP cheese. Uh, I think, how, what is, how many Weedles have I involved so far, Brian? I think I involved like four or five. Eventually, I'm going to do the, um, the pitches as well. Because I'm getting my Weedles on. I don't know, what, what evolution comes after this Pokemon? Is this, is this the Caterpillar? Or is it the Butterfree? It has to be the Butterfree that comes after that. Because that's what comes out. They go into that shell and they involve to the Butterfree. From what I remember back when I used to play Pokemon on uh, the Pokemon Blue and Red. I think that's about it. I don't think I have any more evolution. Maybe the Pidgey maybe? Because I'm looking through right now. Because I'm making sure I get everything. Yeah, I said I'm going to do the Pidgey. Finally I do the Pidgey. There you go. I should have been done this Pidgey earlier. Because I seen it and I went past it. So I am still racking up SP right now like crazy. Just <laughs> I don't know who came up with this, but that's like the best way to rank up. Like if you're struggling with ranking up, do this exactly. I'm sure that's like a thousand YouTube videos telling you how to do it anyway. But just put the egg on and just save all your evolutions and wait. Just wait. Don't involve yet. Until you get that egg, put the egg and start involving like a boss. And each time you involve, you get double SP. It doesn't matter what you do in that within that 30 minutes, you're gonna get double SP. I can see I still I'm still going strong. I still got a uh, got the right Pokemon. I'm involving them right now. Actually, I had a bunch of this. I don't know if I transferred it to the professor. And every time you transfer it to the professor, you get like one egg and then one candy. So it's like if the rats are everywhere. So I don't really care about the rats. So I always like. I always trade them into the professor because I don't really need them. Unless I catch like a really, really strong one, then it makes sense to involve it. But aside from that, I get rid of them. I don't need them. I don't have a strong Pokemon right now. I can't really battle a gym. Uh, I think the gym outside my house I could battle. That gym is not that strong anyway. 
from I think I saw it two days ago it wasn't strong. It could have gotten stronger because they could have added more stuff to it. And there you go, boom, level 10. That SP cheese. SP cheese. I don't even know how many freaking points I got at this time, but I got a whole bunch of stuff. Man, that's it pretty much noobs, man. That's how you do the SP cheese. Um, use the egg and just involve every single thing you have. Well, save all your evol evolution and involve. And I actually had to stop playing because my phone freaking froze on me. Like, I told you, every time I play in New York, even when you go in New York and you have your GPS on in New York, it always acts up. I don't know why. Something about New York, like, it's weird. I don't know. Maybe it's iPhones. I don't know how that works. But every time I go to New York, my phone always acts up. I don't know because of the towers. I don't know what's going on over there, man. But that's about it, noob. I hope you noobs enjoyed my little Pokemon Go adventure. Let me know if you guys want more. Uh, let me know in the comment section and make sure you break that like button. And I'll talk to you later and enjoy the rest of the video.